kind of learn the ropes of being a detective? Yeah, we got a great guy. Man, he was on the force for 30 years. He, uh, he was a lieutenant for homicide, and we did some physical stuff with cuffing and you know subduing someone, and we also had some gun range training. That was, that was very cool. And just talking with, spending a lot of time with the homicide guys here is really interesting. They've got great stories and great tips, and that, that always colors the work a lot, I think. There have been so many cop dramas and cop procedurals and things like that throughout the years. Is it hard to stay kind of not informed by how those characters are played and play this, this show differently? Uh, you know, it's a lot of it's in the writing. It's so great that it's, uh, there's so much humor that you can play, and the, it's the relationships keep getting more and more rich every week as we learn more about the characters. And I don't really worry about you know, doing anything differently because I think it just is inherently a different type of show than most of the stuff that's on television. Do we get to see more of uh, your family life as the season progresses? Yes, fortunately. Okay. Um, my wife makes another visit. I think next week. I think maybe the next show that airs is going to have her in it. And, uh, you know, other people. There's rumors of Fitch's, you know, family or, you know, other people. So it's, I'm, I'm excited about that. There's been a lot of talk about kind of your facial expressions on set, and you just kind of cast a cast a glance to someone. You can just it's it's all because you guys are friendly and you can understand each other's kind of chemistry. <laughs> um, it, is it easier to be working around these people that you spend so much time off the set with because you're all kind of removed from the rest of the the business as well? Mm -hmm. uh, it it's great that we all get along and <laughs> enjoy each other because <laughs> we are removed, and um, this is like my home now. I don't really have. A circle of friends that lives here so it's good that I can call these guys up and go out to dinner and hang out um, they're they're just really great people and that's that's something that everyone the guest stars say coming in it's not only the cast but the crew they're all very sweet people and our bosses are the best and that's not always the case so we're lucky so you kind of came from um, you came from a stage background mm -hmm. kind of thrown in your first show here mm -hmm. what's the biggest difference between I mean, besides from you know instant feedback that you would get on stage, what's the yeah. biggest difference in shooting? Um, shooting, well, th definitely the shooting out of sequence thing is is the biggest difference, and also you get takes takes just the you know the basic stuff. That's that's something you really don't get in theater a, a second chance, <laughs> <laughs> um, and just the relationship with the camera. That's always something. That's something I'm still learning. And <laughs> find the lens is a new phrase that I've learned since being here. <laughs> what can you kind of tease about the maybe the last episode that you're finishing now, or that you're going to finish up, so that when we come back in the in the winter, mm -hmm. what are we looking forward to? Oh well, I all I know is by the time we see you again, you'll probably know. Well, you'll see my wife again, but you might know a little bit more about his situation this big mystery guy and you're gonna know a lot more what do you tell people about why they should watch the show uh, the characters I think they're they're gonna be interested they're gonna be drawn in by these people I think Fitch's character is a really interesting <laughs> guy he's quirky and yet he's so intense about the job and uh, that's really fun to watch I think the acting is really fantastic our guest stars are great so there's a lot of reasons to watch Detroit 187. 